Uh, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Wachachorash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings, Shalom, unto the hopeful elect, all right, the you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, who are scattered across the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, this is Brother Yagadal Amon from GMS Houston, and I'm back with another lesson, and uh, I want to entitle this for the multitude of thy sins, okay? And concerning the multitude, uh, uh, that, that title, who is that can pertaining to us, pertaining to Israel, because we were who the Most High set up Moses to give the laws to. Okay, the laws pertain to us, man. We were the ones that a covenant and agreement was made with, with the Heavenly Father for us to abide by, all right? And throughout uh, uh, our history, all right, to this very day, the nation of Israel have rebelled and went against and broken the covenant that we made with the Heavenly Father, okay? But the main question that our people ask is if when we go into the judgments of the Lord, and the different accounts in the scriptures, which is uh, that really happened and not just made up, okay? Our people will say, well, why would God do that? Okay, why would he do this to our people? Why would he put us in this position? Why would we be at the bottom of the totem pole, man? Okay, why? Because we went against the Heavenly Father, the law, statutes, and commandments, man, after we agreed to abide by them over and over and over, okay? He's always sent men to the Lord, judges, all right, prophets, to speak his words, and Jake rebelled, man. So thus far, we, the, the curses have come upon us, man. The judgments have come upon us, man. Okay? All these things that happened due to us going up against the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? And now that's the, the beauty of what the Most High have blessed his men of the Lord with, man, which is the spirit of accountability through this faith, okay, and repentance, man. Okay? So uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to go into the spirit, man. Through the spirit is the fact that, man, all right, the the, uh, the nation of Israel deserved everything that it, uh, has come upon them and is coming upon them. Okay, us. Okay, Lord willing, myself and the brother, and that's on uh, on the highways and byways and putting his work in truth and sincerity, man. Be protected and make it unto the end, man. Be part of the Most High's elect, man. Okay. So, Lord willing, to be edification in this video, man. And uh, before I get into the scriptures, I just wanted to speak on uh, what I had mentioned a second ago is that the Most High gave us the spirit of accountability, man. Okay, in other words, we acknowledge our transgressions, man, and repent it, okay? Becoming sorrowful, all right, for the things that we have done and ask the Heavenly Father for forgiveness, okay? And then became servants unto Him in righteousness, Okay, and that's what separates us from the wicked amongst uh, our people, man. Okay, so uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 30 and starting at verse 14. It says, all thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of the enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one for the multitude of thy iniquities. So that's the answer to Jake always asking why. Why are we in this position, man? Because we provoke the Heavenly Father to, to anger and jealousy, man. Okay? He gave us law, statutes, and commandments to abide by, and we continue to go against that, man. And uh, uh, throughout the scriptures, he he, he uh, reiterated that he made a covenant, and if you abided by the covenant, you will receive blessings. If not, then you will be punished, man. Okay? And we took the lesser of the agreement, man. Okay? But uh, it's continuing on, it says, with the chastisement of a, of a cruel one for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased, man. Okay? Why? Because we lusted after the heathen, the ways of the heathen, man. Okay? We followed after the uh, 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 gods that didn't exist, man. Okay? We went against the power that created us that we're borrowing our very spirit from, man. Okay, verse 15, it says, Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thine sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee, man. So the most high saying, Why are you why are you crying now, man? Why are you crying like you didn't uh uh like y'all don't know what, what happened, man? Okay, we broke the covenant, man. And Esau have done a hell of a job. By robbing us of our heritage to where we don't even know uh, uh, before the truth that came back into the light, man. All right. 
that we didn't even know who we were, man. Okay, so we couldn't acknowledge, but now that the truth is out, there's no excuse, man. All right, you have all these celebrities coming out of the woodworks now, speaking on the fact that they know they Israel, man. The truth is out, man. Okay, so that that question of why we're in this position is no more, man. All right, and even if you choose not to, it's not. Well, I'm not gonna say choose, but if you are uh, uh, not set to take accountability and get right, then it don't matter, man. You're gonna be uh, you, you're chosen for destruction, man. Okay. And that's why the middle of the Lord are constantly fighting to get out of this place, man. All right. So fighting on the side of righteousness. All right. In the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. Okay. In hopes of getting out of here, man, because we see that this is the only way to make right on, on, on our wrongs, man. Okay. But the rest of the nation are going to continue in their wickedness, man. Okay. This is a uh, Lamentations chapter one and starting at verse four. It says the ways of Zion do mourn because none come to the solemn feast at her gates and all her so like it, all her gates are desolate. Her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted and she is in bitterness. OK, talking about Zion, the nation of Israel, man. OK, the one who was supposed to be uh, the representation of righteousness in the earth amongst the nations, man. Okay, but instead of being a, a, a holy people, man, being separate, what did we do? We lusted after the ways of the heathen, man. We got into their traditions and gods, man. Okay, and just dealing with the commandments was the first thing that the Most High said, man. He is a jealous power. Don't put any other God before him. And that's what we have done continuously, man. All right, to this very day, man. All right. Now, in the midst of all this, Jake think they standing up by wearing black uh, tomorrow being Independence Day, they, Jake is talking about and don't celebrate Independence Day, but celebrate Juneteenth. OK. How is that going to solve anything, man? OK, how is that making a statement to your oppressor? We just going to wear uh, 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 wear black and we ain't going to pop firecrackers. We just going to uh, cook barbecue for a different cause, man. Oh, no, no, no. The only threat or way you can threaten this man's uh, uh uh, rulership and show him that you truly standing up is to stand for righteousness according to the word of the heavenly father man okay to beg the heavenly father uh in his true name and his son's name okay to pay, take this place down that's the only fear that comes upon this devil man but what jake is still caught up in all the, the witchcraft of esau man all the distractions all the things they think are going to be beneficial outside uh, uh verses calling on the heavenly father to deliver us man okay for righteousness to be established man okay when we get too far off the subject man but uh it's back in lamentation one and verse five it says for her adversaries are the chief her uh, enemies prosper for the lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions her children are gone into captivity before the enemy man okay so it's the most high that put us in this position for breaking the covenant, man. Okay. And going against him, man, putting us under the foot of our enemy, man. Okay. So who's the person, the, 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 the power that's responsible for us being in this position is the power that you should be seeking and praying to, man. All right. But that's only for, for the ones that are set, uh, uh, to receive this, man. Okay. All right. Receive that, that, that spirit of uh, accountability, man. All right. And do what? And repent and fight to do right, man, according to the uh, Lord's will, man. OK. So I want to jump back into the uh, book of Deuteronomy just to uh, touch on the agreement, man. OK, because this this is the, the foundation uh, uh, of it, so to speak, man. All right. The most I said, do as I tell you and you'll receive blessings. All right, go against it and you receive curses, man. Okay, so we're in that that the time of uh, uh, where we get approaching it, and that's the beauty of it, man. Okay, and Lord willing, if the Spirit allow, uh, uh, I'll get into that, man. All right, and just to, just cause so, uh, these Christians and all these scoffers won't get in their mind that the Most High uh, can uh, basically bring judgment on us for the multitude of our sins basically condemned us unto uh death man which is not so all right he punished us for uh for uh for a certain period of time and now he's getting uh ready to forgive 
All right, but before that, it's going to be a great destruction amongst Israel uh, uh, when this kingdom is destroyed, man. Okay? So I want to uh, just uh, hit this Deuteronomy 28 real quick. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power and uh, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, man. Okay? All right? And I'm going I'm 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 to wait to come back and revisit this, man, uh, uh, for a second, man. Uh, read verse 2 first. It says, And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, man. Okay? So that was the first part of the agreement, man. If you do what I say, then I will exalt you above all the nations, man. Okay? But let's see the flip side to, to give the answer to why we're in the condition that we are in now, man. Okay? This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, man. So that's what happened, man. We did not observe and hearken unto the Heavenly Father. So what had, had to happen, man? Okay? We received the curses that he said would come upon us, man. Okay? But we're in a point now, Jake, Jake, Jake didn't forgot about the, uh, uh, the history, man. They don't uh, want to take accountability for the actions that we have set, man. All right? And it's a couple. I'm going to get a couple more examples, all right, in the scriptures where the Most High reiterated the same thing over and over man all right hearken unto me all right and you and you'll be good if not then there's going to be certain consequences man okay so this is leviticus chapter 26 and i'm gonna try to run through this as fast as possible so quite a few verses i want to touch on uh this is leviticus chapter 26 and verse starting at verse 9 it says for i will have respect unto you uh, just real quick before you, uh, I'm starting at verse nine, but if you go into the whole 26, 26th chapter, all right, and mainly the beginning, which I'm skipping over, all right, the most high started. Well, matter of fact, I'll read verse one, okay, just to show you what the most high is most serious about and what Israel has done the most of throughout our history, man, okay? This is uh, Leviticus 26 and one, it says, ye shall make no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down to it, for I am the Lord your God, man. Okay, so the most I always let you know off top, don't worship any other gods before me because I am the one true power, man. I'm the most high power, man. Okay, so uh, jumping down to verse 9, this is Leviticus 26 and 9, it says, For I will have the have respect unto you and I will make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you and ye shall eat shall eat old store and bring forth the old because of the new and I will set my tabernacle among you and my soul shall not abhor you and I will walk I will walk among you among you and will be your power and ye shall be my people I am the Lord your power, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen, and I may, and I have broken the bands of your yoke, and made you go upright, man. So just stopping right there, real quick, man. All right, the Most High is the one who delivered us from our enemies, man. Time and time again, man. All right, and the most uh uh, uh famous story, so to speak. Is the deliverance out of Egypt, man? Okay, the whole world speaks about that uh, that uh, uh, that um, that account, man. Okay, now we are approaching a time where the Most High is getting ready to uh, uh, deliver his uh, children out of uh, modern day Egypt, which is Babylon, man. All right, in, in remote parts of the world, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, where Israel has been scattered, man. Okay. But the bulk of the deliverance is going to come out of Babylon, okay? And as well, this place is referred to in the scriptures as Sodom and Egypt, man, okay? 
This is the power that we're supposed to be seeking after. Uh, uh, but no, what are we doing constantly, man? Okay. But I'm not going to say we, as of right now, the men of the Lord are uh, are standing up for righteousness, man. Are announcing what's coming to this place, man. Okay. But the bulk of our people are doing what? They're still lost and worshiping false gods and idols uh, outside of the Heavenly Father. Okay? They're still going, uh, uh, committing uh, 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 spiritual adultery, physical adultery. Okay? They're completely disgracing the dietary law, man. Okay? Murder is rampant amongst the nation of Israel, man. Okay? So why you think the Most High is not going to judge uh, uh, his chosen people, his favorite ch uh, uh, children, for what the hell we've been doing, man. All right. So uh, let me read on verse 14, Leviticus 26 and 14. It says, but if ye will not hearken unto me and will not know so once again. All right. The most High let you know he's going to take care of you, man. Let you know I'm the Lord, your power, and I'll take care of you if you hearken unto me. But then he always lets you know, warns you. All right. It's going to be uh, 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 consequences if you don't go according to this uh, agreement, man. OK, verse 14, it says, but if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments. And if ye will despise my statues or if your soul abhor my judgment so that ye will do will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, man. OK, in Israel as a whole, man. All right. As a, 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 the bulk of Israel, they despise the statues of the Heavenly Father, man. They don't want anything to do with righteousness, man. OK, they refuse to uh, uh, to uh, quit being an adulterous nation, man. Following after every way of the heathens, man. OK, verse 16, it says, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror. OK, this this is the power we dealing with, man. OK, not that BS uh, uh, that Christianity teaches you, man, that the Lord is this all loving. He, uh, he you can do whatever you want and just pray in the name of Jesus and you'll be forgiven. All right. Let let go and let God that all, all that BS, man. No, man, we dealing with it, the most high power. And if you go against his uh, his uh, his statues and his judgments, man. Okay, he'll bring terror upon you, and that's what the why Israel is in a condition. Okay, not the the state of Israel, but the true people, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, it says consumption and the and the burning of goo that that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it, and I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. And so the most high man in the scriptures is giving you the answers to why, man. But Jake don't read, man. It's not for them, man. All right. They'll, they'll understand in the kingdom of heaven, man. Jake is not going to open up this book and be like, okay, okay. Well, damn. Okay. That's why we're getting fucked up. It's our fault. Okay. But this was the way the most high set it up, man. Okay. So let me read on. It says, they that hate you, hate you shall reign over you and ye shall flee when, uh, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then will I punish you seven times more for your sins, man. Okay. And what have Israel continuously done? They have continued to not hearken unto the ways of the heavenly father, man. Okay. That, that, so that, that, that's the way. Of the heavenly father man you go against him okay and he's gonna punish you man but he said after i, I didn't punish you once and you want to continue going on well, i'll punish you seven times more man all right seven representing completion man okay so it says verse 19 and i will break the pride of your power and i will make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass and your strength shall be spent in vain for your land shall not yield her increase okay that's why israel cannot prosper as a nation in anything that we do man because we're still under the curses and the judgment of the heavenly father for breaking his uh the covenant man okay it says neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruit and if ye walk contrary 
unto me and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins, man. So all the things that's happening to Israel as a whole are due to the sins of the nation, man. Okay, because we uh, uh, went against the law, statute, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, continuously, man, until this very day, man. That's why the, now we're about to, we're approaching the time of the, the, the last judgment, man. Okay, before the Most High restores Israel, man. Okay, but until that time comes, it's going to be hell on Israel until the Most High uh, 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 get ready to deliver his elect. Okay, and bring judgment on the rest of the nation. All right. Uh, this is Malachi chapter two and verse two. It says, if ye will not heart hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name. And that's what the whole picture with this, what the most high is doing, man. Everything that he's doing is to bring glory unto his name, man. Okay. And not only amongst us, but throughout the whole earth, the glory of the heavenly father is going to return unto, uh, uh, to his name, man. Okay. That fear is going to be restored in the earth, man, because all the things that's happening to the nation of Israel, which is the topic of this lesson, and not only the nation of Israel, but all the other nations, everything, the judgments of the Heavenly Father that have went out in the earth, okay, all right, everybody's going to acknowledge that this was the most high power that done this, man, all right, and he's not to be fucked with, okay? It says, to give glory unto, uh, unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts. I will even send a curse upon you and and I will curse your blessings. Yeah, I have cursed them already because ye do not lay it to heart. Lay what to heart, man? The agreement that we did uh, made, man. Okay, the law, statutes, commandments, man. Okay, when you finish this uh, chapter out, man, just goes into the, the just judgments of the Heavenly Father that will come on, uh, 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 on Israel, man. Okay, explaining why we are in the condition that we're in now, man. Okay, for all the Jakes, all you comedic guys and and shit that want to say, oh, why, 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 shit, shit. What, what? How about this? What do I have to do to get forgiveness uh, from this uh, from this power? That should be the question. Okay. But guess what, man? And I want to grab this to end it, man. So you Christian nuts won't think, uh, uh like or try to put out there as if Israel was done away with, man. That's not the case. Okay, the most high, yeah, he punished us, but he, he's a merciful power, man, and he promised a kingdom unto us, and his son, all right, his only begotten son, had a key purpose, all right, to bring us back under the fall, man, okay, so this is uh, Hebrews chapter 8, and I'm going to start at verse 8, it says, for finding fault with them, who is them, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, okay, that's the them, the them, okay? The law was had no flaws. The law had no issues uh, 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 and needed to be corrected. The correction lies in us because we're in this filthy flesh, man, okay? So we need the Lord to uh, 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 to restore us. And how is he going to do that? In the kingdom of heaven, man, where he's going to write the laws. And I will, I'll read on, man. I'm going to sh shut my mouth and let the scripture speak beautifully. It says, for finding fault with them, he said... Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. And this is in the New Testament. OK, so how could the nation of Israel be done away with if the Lord is saying he's going to make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah? man? OK. We're approaching the time of the second covenant, we, but we haven't, uh, 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 it hasn't been fully fulfilled, man. Why? Because we are still in this flesh. We're still on the bottom, okay? And we are still sold under sin while we're here in these bodies, man, okay? But let me read on. It says, not according to the covenant that I made with, uh, with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people, man. So that's what the Most High is going to do to make things right with us since he promised us the kingdom, man. 
All right, he's going to make good on his word, man. Okay, he had to punish us for a certain time, but now he's getting ready to uh, uh, to, to flip things in the right position, man. Okay, by bringing destruction unto all the enemies that he sold us, uh, put us under, man. Okay, and lifting us up under uh, his son, Yahweh Shai, okay, and giving us our inheritance, which he promised unto us, man. Okay, and once that's done, the second covenant will be established. And we'll have the laws written in our inward part to where we won't be all able to go off anymore, man. We won't have a need to be judged or punished because the Most High is going to make us uh, whole and perfect, man. Okay? So uh, that's it for this lesson, man. Uh, Lord willing, there's edification in this video to the Most High's elect. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakorash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the Most High's elect. Shalom.